everyone, it's Taylor here, and I'm excited to share how I created this card using our cutting edge spring stamp and die combo. So I'm gonna start with the critters in this set. There's a lineup of critters and three individual critters here that I'm gonna line up in my Misty. I'm starting with a piece of our sugar cube cardstock, and that's our Copic compatible 100 pound white cardstock. I'm just arranging those critters there at the bottom of the piece of cardstock, and then I'm gonna flip the lid of the Misty down to grab the stamps. I'll be using our Oreo ink. This is our hybrid ink, which is also Copic compatible and watercolor compatible. So it works great. It's a nice crisp black and I just love it. I'm gonna flip my cardstock around then to stamp those critters one more time using the Oreo ink and then we will need to die cut them. You'll see on the die here that the long group of critters is one die and it's actually meant to keep the critters connected to the bottom of your paper. I'll be using a little bit of Scotch low tack artist tape to tape those dies in place before we send them through our die cut machine. I apologize for my very scarred cutting plates, but they get well loved and well used. So we're gonna pop the paper out and go ahead and arrange those on the other side of the critters. The nice part is because you stamped it with your Misty, those critters are in exactly the same spot and you can line up those dies all at the same time. Now after popping those out, we're gonna have a lot of coloring to do, but for the purpose of this video, my coloring is now done. I wanted to show you a trick using Glad Press and Seal. This is something I learned from a good friend and I have a piece of Press and Seal set out over my card so that I can arrange those pieces onto the Press and Seal, kind of tacking them in place and keeping them right where I want them on my card. So after I get that all arranged, you can close the other side of the Press and Seal and it keeps it all nice and together while I complete the rest of the project. I'll be using our build a scene stencil strips. These are the clouds. They come in three different variations in the same set. I have confetti cake ink and a sponge dauber. Now when I do the clouds, I take a little bit off onto my placemat first, and then I brush in an upward motion onto that stencil. And then I should have closed my card base, which I now have done so that you only get that ink on the card front and not on the back of your card. And then I'm gonna travel down the rest of my cardstock, slightly shifting that stencil as I go. I'm adding some of our Rolling Hills grass and wispy grass down there towards the bottom. I've popped up each layer for some added dimension and just clipped the sides off to match up. So now I am opening up that piece of press and seal and adding adhesive to the back of each of those critters. After adding adhesive to the back of each of those critters, you're gonna use your press and seal to keep it in place while pushing it underneath that grass border. Now once you've tacked that down to the cardstock, you can peel back the press and seal, leaving no sticky residue, and your project is right where you want it. I decided to use a little mini wobble spring to adhere that cute bunny at the top of the stack. And then I'm going to add a small little heart to his arms there using a little bit of my embelly jelly. Then I have the stitched cloud duo that I'm adding to the cloudy sky and stamping the sentiment, sending stacks of love with Oreo ink. And then the card is finished. So I hope you learned a little bit something new about how you could create something like this yourself. Check out our new stamp cutting edge spring at tailoredexpressions.com.